The most energetic particle ever detected was noticed in 1991 in Utah, and it was aptly named the Oh My God particle. Streaming in from somewhere in the universe, roughly in the direction of the Perseus constellation, it carried about 3 times 10 to the 20th electron volts worth of energy. And while we could talk for days about the origin of this particle, I'd rather put into perspective just how energetic this particle was. So we don't actually know what kind of particle the OMG particle was. Most probably it was a proton, the nucleus of a single hydrogen atom. It's really hard to tell because we only saw the aftermath, and regardless of what type of particle it was, with that much energy the effect would have been the same, an enormous shower of subatomic particles cascading into the atmosphere as nitrogen atoms are blown apart. But let's just say it was a proton for the sake of argument. So a proton moving at 99% the speed of light would have around 5.6 giga electron volts of energy. For a single proton, that's quite a lot. In fact, this is a few times bigger than the amount of energy expended by a mosquito to beat a wing once. And a mosquito wing is made of around a billion trillion, 10 to the 21, protons and neutrons. So the single proton moving at that speed is more energetic than that many protons at normal speeds. But the Large Hadron Collider produces protons with about a thousand times more energy. Those single protons, with a few tera electron volts each, have about the energy of a whole mosquito flying through the air. Again, we're talking about a single particle having the energy of a trillion trillion normal speed particles. These are the highest energy particles that we can make, but these are still hardly at human understandable scales. It's about a millionth of a joule, and a joule is what it takes to heat up a single gram of air by one degree Celsius. Now, an average LED bulb in a home uses about 10 joules of energy per second to stay lit, so you would need 10 million LHC protons per second to keep your lights on. But the OMG particle alone had around 50 joules of energy, enough to light a bulb for 5 seconds, so it had the energy of around 300 million flying mosquitoes, or the energy of a single baseball flying through the air at 60 miles an hour. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure which comparison is more useful, but I know which one is more disturbing. I wouldn't want to be hit by this particle, and I definitely wouldn't want to be hit by a baseball at 60 miles an hour. But I'm pretty sure I'd rather die than have 300 million mosquitoes fly at me.